on to the next story. We have a humongous problem among The Last of Us Part 2. Now, let me be honest to you, I never played The Last of Us Part 2 game. All I did was watch a couple of commentary gameplays from NK, Fire and Ice, and Upper Epilogue games. To be honest, those channels are really good and I highly recommend you actually watch their content. But this, this can really piss not only me, but a lot of people got them off. I have seen the story. The gameplay is, is, is bad. The X button is really pointless. The triangle button that's supposed to be the dodge button or the counter attack button is replaced with the L1 button and it's just really repulsive. But the one that I can admit, there's new forms of tricks and skills that you can learn to actually survive among this a post-apocalyptic world. But the story pisses me off so goddamn much that I fucking hate it. Now, let me tell you all about it. Okay, I won't spoil it too much. I will tell you the right amount of details. Joel got hit with a golf club. I fucking know. But you see this from a lot inside of JW commentary channels saying that Abby is transgender. Wrong. But there was a transgender character and somehow more nicer, pleasant, and more likable than Abby. And also, it's not ma'am, it's sir, it's a female to male. Fuck you. <laughs> And this whole entire time, you've been bullying the wrong character. Oh wait, you like bullying the wrong character? Well, fuck you. <laughs> but then, later on, Elliot actually founds Abby's friends. Kill them. On accident, didn't mean to, but I understand. When Elliot trying to... When Ellie trying to... I don't know, think about going back. Abby <laughs> going back to Jackson. You know, the safe town, the town that they were been living in, I'm just saying, Abby actually figured out where are they fucking hiding out as, and Ellie actually go into those doors and just got shot in the face and pinned Tommy down to the ground. What pisses me off is that the next scene we had to play as Abby, and within Abby's story will piss you Five times more worser than any goddamn thing that even exists in this world. You play as Abby. You save two characters that save your ass. And then later on, you had to kill Ellie. What pissed me off? You saving the two characters that saving Abby's butt. Joe and Tommy saves Abby from a whole swarms of runners and clickers. And what happened next? Golf club. Oh, fuck you, Naughty Dog. Fuck you. No, no, no. I'm not going to say fuck you, Naughty Dog. That's too critical about it. Because most of the employees were forced to make this game work. And I'm not going to blame them. Because they're the ones that is forced under Neil to actually make the game. They need the money. I'm not going to blame them. So, you idiot anti-SJW should change fuck you Nine Dog to fuck you Neil. <laughs> and the second reason what pissed me off is that Abby is trying to kill Ellie. Now, while I was watching from the upper Epilon games, I was part of the live stream. And every single individual says yes. Ellie should kill Abby. The end. Roll credits. No more. Every single individual. Every single fucking individual. Every single fucking individual. Every. Everyone. Liberals, conservatives, gamers, people are fans, people that is not fans, every single in the fucking visual saying yes, Ellie should kill Abby. 
I'm surprised. I'm surprised. There is a little humanity left. A little. I'm not going to be that excited. And then later on, here's Month Layers. Month Layers. Let's just say it like that. Month Layer. Ellie, go after Abby. I, I'm not going to spoil you Month Layer, alright? I'm not going to spoil that for you. Why Month Layer? But Ellie, go after Abby. Tried to kill Abby. Abby bite off two of her good fingers off her left hand. <laughs> and Ellie lets Abby go. My fucking god, you dense motherfucker. This is why I hate stories that actually focus on the cycle of the revenge, the hero should never kill the villain, and all that other stuff. This is why I don't like Batman, the reason why Batman can't kill the Joker. You have a very passionate, burning inside hell reason why he should kill the Joker. And that episode of the Avatar The Last Airbender, when Katana actually go after the killer of her own mother. She, 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 did, she didn't kill the man. What the fuck? This is why I hate these kind of stories. Can I tell you why? Because the whole point of the adventure is to hunt down the asshole that killed the one that you love the most. And then You just make some random big speech saying, If I kill this man, I will never go back. Fuck that. It's, a not, it's not about forgiveness. Okay, it is about forgiveness. But it's not about forgiving the person that killed the person that you love. It's about forgiving yourself among the concept. It's about forgiving yourself for the thing you're about to do. Will you forgive yourself? The answer will be yes. Yes. Is that that not too hard? Because you're going against the person that actually killed the one that you love. And and that how it fucking ends. It was crap. Now like you guys are just saying, you want me to buy it? <sighs> I can admit one thing. The visual was nice, the gameplay was good, but the story suck. So if you want my advice, don't buy the game till you get that half off. If you are one of those people that want to play the game, don't buy the game full price. Wait for it till it's like 50% off, 20% off, I mean not 20% off, um, 70% off, 80% off, I mean free, free. For any individual, I'm 100% serious. But to be honest, I'm not going to buy the game. I'm just going to wait for the remaster when they add it grounded. Because you know me, I oh, if I play a game, I want it in the hardest level ever, the hardest setting ever. Seriously, if you give me a Batman game. Like Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knights. I will play it on goddamn hard. Seriously. I, I'm highly serious. Uncharted. I will play the hardest level. I'm 100% telling you the God honest truth. I will play the God. I will play the hardest level of all time if I have to. And that's the goddamn truth. If you want my advice, don't buy the game till it's half off. Or wait for the remaster when they add grounded mode. So for the people that are interested in the gameplay and not the crappy story, that will you get. And that's the God honest truth, and that is 
what I think. It's not worth the $60. If the remaster is $60, it's not worth it as well. Wait for 50% off and that's it. It's not worth it to buy it full price, period. I'm not the freeze and you know the rest.